Well, it's Wednesday about 1 o'clock. If I was going spinning, I should be leaving about right now. But, the phone was ringing this morning. It's going to be a knife day in the land of Nala, or in the land of Rancho Max. The first customer looks like three knives. Stand by a minute. Small Henkel Chef's Knife, a KitchenAid Santuco, and a little Henkel Para. The third, second customer. Come out of there, baby. Looks like a fillet knife, a Henkel Santuco. A Henkel Slicer, a Henkel Para, a big Henkel Chef Knife, and an International Henkel Utility Type Knife, I call it. A Gathering of Knives. Now, let's get into this baby. It's all zipped up. Maximum security bag. Mm, holy Toledo. Well, I see a Wustoff chef's knife. I see a global chef's knife. Another global. I'm going to try to get the kitchen knives out of here separately. Here's a big, looks like Wustoff cleaver. I mean, uh, <laughs> kitchen chef's knife. And here is a ice hardened. Something. It's like a stiff fillet knife. I've never seen this exact knife before. Then we have a little thin Wustoff. Very stiff bladed knife. And then we have solid, solid cut made in Germany. Kind of flexible, like a fillet knife. I better get some more room here. I'm running out of room. Then we have a really thin, old, what appears to be Chicago cutlery, but I can't see it anywhere. But you can see she's wore down thin. This baby is. That's all the kitchen knives I see. Hello. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's all the kitchen knives I see. Let's get this other stuff out. Stand by a minute. Well, these are hunting and fishing knives. This is a, what I believe to be a SOG. Yes. Fixed blade. A fillet knife, which came out of this case. Fish something solutions. Nice case, I know that. Got a stone on the back of it. Look at that. Spotting in it, sharpen your fish hooks. Then we got a bench made. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't tell you what model it is. And a browning fillet knife. And then a thing called a ridge runner. This is a big long pocket knife. Got a liner lock inside of it. You see, big pocket knife. 
And we got a 110 buck. And then we have three fish fillet knives. One, two, and three. This one says, well, I can't see what it says. Skinning knife, I call this, but a good hook. Muncho Lake. And this is a Wustoff. I forget what they call this knife. He uses it for skinning deer. He's a big hunter, this guy is. It's not too bad, it's just a little bit dull. The edges are rolled over a little bit on it. Okay, we got to go to work, gentlemen and ladies. It's Knife Wednesday. Well, the case of knives is finished. There were 20 knives in that case. Unbelievable. But I like it. Well, I got all the knives delivered except for one lot. And they come about tomorrow to get them. And I got back about 3.30. I said, well, hell, I might as well go on the bay for a spin. So I did. I worked screen deep from my house west. And you can see I found four nice gray matters. Some swivels. A little bit of meager clad, two dimes, nice race car, skull, and earring. Bad shape earring. I think the knives were the best of it today. What do you think? <laughs> Stand by, we're having uh, hamburgers again tonight on the grill. Ready. Are they done? Can you take those inside? Yeah. And there's one more. I gotta do the rolls. Hold this plate and keep the flies off. Flies? Yeah, flies. No we'll flies around here. Circus strain dog. What do you think, Big O' Jack? You like some of the hamburgers? Hamburgers? Yeah, that's right, Big O' Jack. Mmm, I like them. You like hamburgers, don't you, Big O' Jack?